Hello and welcome to Events in High Rock. Uh, Thief Gold, uh, or Thief One, even, I'm not sure which fan mission. Um, it does not have a briefing video, so I'm going to do my usual thing and switch over to Notepad to uh, read out the briefing. Uh, bear with me while I mute the background noise there. All the mess began when I escaped from the city to High Rock Town. The city's mayor has organized a big roundup. All my hideouts were revealed, and I barely escaped his guards. All my stuff remained there, but this isn't important for now, because I'm just mad because of what happened recently. I met another thief in High Rock one night. He was almost caught by the local guard when I blackjacked the second, and so saved the thief's freedom. His name was Switcher. He was very grateful and offered his services. Soon I got a lot of good information about locals, nobles, and gold bags. Switcher became my friend. I liked that fellow. He was honest and a straightforward kind of guy. Of course, all this made him a bad thief. So I rented a room in the southwest part of town called River's End. Because there, the river that flows across the town leaves it under the town wall. The River Tetis. Life there was slow and calm. It was kind of like a vacation from the dangerous and nervous work in the city. But soon all that ended unexpectedly. Switcher came to me with a strange request. He had lost contact with his son Mike, who was a member of the Mages Guild. And he was afraid that something had happened, since before that Mike had regularly visited him. He said that he'll pay me for this and has provided me with some information. Of course, I couldn't refuse him. He loved his son very much and became a thief to support his son's education. He told me about some mage items which uh, should be there, and gave the approximate location of a tomb where I can get some valuables. He told me that he knows a person who'll pay generously for this stuff. I agreed. So the Mage's Guild was deserted. Well, not exactly. It was haunted. And from several notes I found, I figured out that they uh, were turned undead by a magical stone artifact. I even saw it. It was very attractive. I seemed to whisper, Take me. I will show you a great power. Or something like that. Somehow I managed not to touch it, and I'm still okay. I think it's due to Alexander's notes that I found in one of the watery caves. Alexander was one of the mages there, and he understood the danger, but he did not manage to warn the others. After visiting the deserted mages guild two weeks ago, some events forced me to remember those days. When I returned from the wilderness, I sold almost all the goods that I found there to a local trader named Cunny. He gave me half the price I expected to receive for that crap. When I demanded more, he laughed in my face and said I can take it back and try to sell it in other places. He knows perfectly well that in this little town, only he has enough money and power to buy a decent amount of illegal goods. Of course I wasn't going to go back to the city and try to sell the goods there. Uh, it's going to take more time before the roundups there for to cease. So I took the money, but I decided to give him a lesson in the future. Things were even worse with the other uh, relics I discovered in the Mages Guild. Switcher organized a meeting with the person interested in items belonging to Mages. He, he mentioned especially the ring and the scepter. I must say that he had scared me to death. A tall, dark cloaked figure who seemed to appear out of nowhere. He spread some cold and a grim feeling around but he very generously paid for the scepter, ring and crown, and vanished. Having already seen teleportation of majors, I didn't feel that was all that strange. I should have wondered about where he learned about such things, but I was so happy to feel the weight of gold, I almost forgot about him, especially when my bad feelings disappeared along with him. All was fine. For several days I spent resting in my small home and the local pubs. I even began to think about returning to the city, when I suddenly noticed that all the gold had vanished, and there was a pile of garbage there instead. I couldn't understand who had managed to do that. Thinking for a while, I decided it was so, must be somehow connected with that dark fellow I sold the items to. But I had no information on where he lived, or who he was. So I decided to visit Switcher and find out where he had found such a friend. The only problem is I have no idea where Switcher lives either. He changes his quarters very often because he's wanted by the town guards because of his poor thief skills. 
I heard the last resident he lurked in was a uh, place somewhere east of the clock tower. Anyway, I must find him. Also, since I'm left only with lucky coins, which I'm not going to be, uh, which I'm not going to spend, I might need some funds to live on. Seems it's, it's time to remember about my friend Cunny. That trader needs to be taught not to mess with me. I'm going to steal all the goods I sold to him, and all the gold from his day's profit. But I got to be careful. He suspects the thief in me, and is very cautious when I'm nearby. He just opened his second shop. It's not yet complete, but Kenny isn't going to waste time. I should somehow distract his attention. Maybe hide in the shadows till he forgets about me, or wait for some cu late customer to take his attention. I've got to think hard about how I'm going to cheat this fat bastard. The direct stealing approach isn't going to work here. Only if, if only something could happen while I'm hiding in the shop to distract him. I don't know. Also, I'd better stay out of his line of sight after taking his stuff. Because otherwise he'll call the guards and I'll be caught. That dark fellow will also regret cheating me. I'm very angry to lose all that gold. Especially when I when it was deserved after such a dangerous place as the Major's Guild. For now I need some sleep. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. You had almost fallen into the depths of dreaming when suddenly you hear a strange sound behind the door. What is it? Sounds so familiar. You've heard it before, but where and what is it? All right, events in High Rock. Uh, let's switch through difficulty. Mm. I'm gonna go normal because uh, normal seems to have the standard "don't kill," uh, you know civilians uh, drop here that uh, is usually reserved for hard. Hard has don't kill unarmed citizens, also don't kill more than seven armed humans since you're not a menu. Actually, well, maybe that's alright. Yeah, let's go, let's go hard. Let's go. So, find Switch's house and ask him about that dark cloaked fellow that cheated you so insolently. That traitor, honey. He upset you and you're gonna give him a lesson. Steal everything from his shop. Just to be sure not to show up to him after robbing. Uh, or not to show yourself to him, I guess. While finding Switch, you get some profit from the sleeping town. Get 1918 loot, specifically 1600 gold, 100 gems, and 280 indicates. You're not a murderer, do not kill unarmed citizens. And also, do not kill more than seven armed humans, since you are not a maniac. And then return home. Alright. Not killing more than seven, I can probably do. Because I still only kill them when, uh, you know, I'm desperate and don't really have much other choice. Alright, let's save right here at the start. Get my sword. Uh, what? That doesn't sound good. in my it's just broken into my flat. Uh, I don't like that at all. Is this a dark cloaked fellow? Is he actually Is he actually a horn? Hmm. I don't like this look of him at all. I think I will feel the thing. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ow, 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 this is very well. No, 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 you died. Ow. Ow. Who are you? Just a random corpse. I don't want you in my room. That would be, uh... A little incriminating. You die on the stair. <laughs> Nobody's gonna notice the pool of blood. That's just my blood. In fact, it probably is my blood. 
Uh, okay, well, that didn't go too well for me because I uh, lost a lot of health and I don't seem to have any healing potions. Got a better old. I don't know the luck pick. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, of course he was too alert when I uh, came up behind him and saw me before I could get a backstab in. Uh, yeah, so what's that all about? A haunt coming to murder me. Uh. Alright, uh, let's check the map. Where are we? My apartment's here in the gas to the southwest. Small hammeric temple, a drunken goose harbor fountain. Switches somewhere. Did you say east of the clock tower? See? No, it's just about to switch out. somewhere near the clock tower. And uh, Kenny's shop is there. Alright, we should be able to do this. I think going to Kenny's shop is probably the best plan for first, so we should probably go around by the north and try and get through that way. Yeah. Alright, let's hope. I hope I can find some healing as well, because I'm a little, uh, poorly today. Do I have any rope arrows from now? I wonder if I, I, wonder if I can uh, go in that window. I don't have any arrows whatsoever. I have no arrows whatsoever. Hello, <laughs> sir. What are you guarding? <laughs> Oh, that's street lights. All right, let's let's turn street lights off. I don't mind that. That's handy for me. Here's the Hammerite Temple. The guard over there. Hmm. Right, let's go for something back and forth. There's another one up by the altar who hopefully won't notice us. What's that? then? Oh, there's someone over there as well. Hmm. Do they actually have any goods there for me to steal? I can't zoom. I don't have a bow and I'm not being thief too. I don't have my uh, hammer right eye. Alright, maybe I'll come back here. Yeah. You can sleep. There's a bridge on the map. Not really, this is River's End, I guess. The water looks like it's flowing quite quickly. It's probably not. Probably better not go in there. Hello, sir, guard. Why don't you sleep? Oh, oh, oh. It's a very dark night, that's uh, good for me since I'm uh, having to wander around in this unfamiliar town. <coughs> you can sleep too, I'm just going to clean up the streets of all these wandering rabble. But really, they should know better than me to be out and about this time of night. Can I open this? No. Uh, oh, that's more of the Hammerite Temple. There's a couple more hammers there. Okay. There's nothing. What oh, can I hit with this? Oh, there's some junk fellow stacking home. Alright, I don't need to worry about him. Where does this take me? Nowhere. At least nowhere obvious. Alright. Might come back later. Oop, just in the dark. Uh should we keep going east, I guess. Oh, it's you doing whistling, Mr. Drunk Man, is it? Sleep. Everyone will think just passed out from drunkenness. I need to find this guy's shop. Who are you? What? <coughs> Sleep. 
everyone's asleep. It's night time. It's a law. Well, if I had a river, I could get up uh, on there. I could jump across anyway. Yeah, let's, let's jump across. Can we go on the roof? No. If we get through the window, probably not. Ooh. Who's there? Hello? Hello? There's nobody there. Why would you think there's somebody here? Turn the lights off. No, is that to not turn the lights off? Turn the lights on? Did it not do anything? No, I can't use that door or that door. How about this door? Oh, it needs picking. walk upstairs so I don't need to worry about rope arrows and whatnot. I don't want silly goblets like that. They're not worth anything to me. Do you have any money here? So there's some of these guards inside this pub. Ah, oh, here we are on the terrace. Ah, oh, there's just not be any money left outside on the terrace, that makes sense. Oh, there's a note. Beer, 10 copper coins. Ale, 25 copper coins. Wine, 10 silver coins. Oh, god, prices have gone up. I remember when a beer only cost 2 copper coins. Well, let's take all that copper coins anyway. Anyway, gonna need a key. I'll we'll take that wine. The valuable stuff, anyway, not the cheap stuff. Okay, it's too picky for that. Aha! The key is underneath the mat. Let's just put the mat back so nobody will notice, huh? I will think nothing's wrong. Oh, that, that took away the key too, so I can't put the key back where I found it. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, uh, that's our first bit of loot. We have 150 and we need to get 1600 uh, in, terms of, in terms of gold. Oh wait, that was 50 worth of goods and 100 worth of gold, okay. Alright. Not sure what goods were in a little pouch like that, but uh, I guess. Not gonna complain. Yeah, somewhere around. The Tetris. I just need to go over there. So we're trying to find a shop belonging to this fellow, and we're gonna make sure he doesn't see us. Some random. I thought you don't have a purse on you, do you, sir? <laughs> Trying doors as you walk around, are you planning on? <laughs> uh, what? That was echoing strangely. What's that in the shadow there? That was, he has a squeaky voice. I thought there was somebody else who happened to be humming the same tune at the same time, but no, it's just this, this strange echo. Alright, sir. You're gonna. Help! So, how did you see me? You sleep. You can sleep. Sleep here. It's nice warm night, you'll be fine out here. Hmm. No, there's not a door that opens anyway, so. I wonder if I can get up there. Jump on one of these. Maybe. Okay. And jump up there. Hmm, can I make that jump or that jump? So they make this one. Seems to be no purpose going there. What about here? I can't get through there. Oh, -ho! bit of gold. All right, I'll take that. That'll do. <coughs> Ouch! I really don't have the health to spare to do that sort of thing. I need to land on the awning. Awning. 
these things. There it was. Oh, the museum. What does this take me? No, back. Back to the museum, alright. Uh, it doesn't look like I can get in the museum. Does this door open? Do we have the museum on the map? No, but if we reach the Grand Hamrite Temple, we've gone too far, right? Still kind of heading east, aren't I? Well, I was trying to. Okay, that's just the other side of this place. Coming or going? Going. To the Grand Temple, if we keep going east. Alright, so... Mistake on your shop must be somewhere around here. What is this? Uh, I don't know, there's a big cargo left. It's interesting, whatever it is. Let's go up. Sleep nearby, so better be quiet on this tile floor. Uh, hmm. Seems to be nothing at all on this floor that I need or care about. Injuries are facing him. Oh, let's go slowly and quietly. It's too much noisy floor here. Oh, I see a key underneath that cabinet. I'll take that. Hmm. Glass windows. Man was just snoring is very loud. I think. Dear Zamilius, no need to worry, no one can find our little playground. The button is well hidden, so is the key. Moreover, nobody suspects us since many people are disappearing these days. You can sleep peacefully. Uh, the playground? What? I found the key. What is this hidden button? Hmm. And he can sleep even more peacefully now that I've hit him on the head. Let's go. <coughs> oh, it goes outside. All right. Oh, that's a fancy place. That's further east. That must be the uh, Grand Hammerite Temple. That's not the Grand. Yeah, there's a couple of Hammerites standing there. It's interesting. I wouldn't have picked up this Hammerite architecture. They must have. Uh, Somebody new designing that building. Oh, I wonder if I could get over that window if I had a river. That does look like it. Interesting. Right, back in here. Looking for a hidden button. I wonder if it's on the floor below or is it, would it be on this floor? Anyway, it looks like it's got space for a hidden room. I'm gonna try the floor below, just briefly. I really didn't have a good look around when I was there before. I can probably afford to make a little noise on the tile floor now, but... Um, 
I don't need to. Oh, well, not go out of my way to do so. This... That's not the button it means, right? That just brings the lift here. It's certainly not well hidden. But maybe it is up in this room somewhere. Not really room for anything to be hidden here. Nothing at all on the ceiling. Alright, let's get back up. And if I can't find anything else in this room, I'll try the ground floor. Let's have a look around the lobby here first. So the lift summoning button. Nothing else seems to be here on the in the lobby. <clears throat> uh, he thought the key was well hidden and it was merely sitting underneath the uh, dresser there. Is there a button above it? Nope. It certainly doesn't have a button underneath it. How about the painting? Any buttons or switches here? Not that I can see. Around the ceiling, anything? Hmm, let's check the desk. Doesn't look like there's anything behind the desk. I'll check there in a minute. Under the desk. There. That to the right of the desk. No kinds of buttons I can see. <clears throat> Behind here. Hmm. Oops. Behind the bed. No. Behind this painting. Also, apparently, no. Alright, um, this button doesn't appear to be on this floor at any rate, so let's get down to the ground floor and have a look around there. I would have thought the middle floor, just considering there was nothing at all on the middle floor, but uh, I don't remember what the ground floor looked like. So it could be the ground floor is uh, where the button in question happens to be. That's the door I came in, right? Yeah. Again, that bu button hidden in this lobby. I'm not seeing it. I wonder if there's a button on the left. I'm going to go down to the left to find out. Not unless I can block those doors from closing. Alright, that's going well. <clears throat> So where have they hidden this button? I'm sort of coming right. The shaft here? I've got a key, but I don't know what it opens. Oh ho! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, in the shaft. a long way below ground. I do wonder what he means when he says this playground as well. This is foreboding. Torture chamber. How lovely. Stocks of blood. What happened here? Nothing good. Pussy lying on the table. It was very delighting to lead her to death very, very slowly. First, I tore out her nails. 
way she cried, oh, it was amazing music. Then I returned her to consciousness, and we continued as the lighting ran. And she talked not very pleasant, so I was forced to cut off her with a dirty little tongue. Then I saved her from drowning in blood. I turned. Oh, I must go now. It's very late. I need some sleep. Uh, that was like an objective sound. But I didn't see an objective pop up. Ah. This bastard provides an exception to the whole city. Kill this vile maniac so he can't torture people anymore. Alright. It was a new objective indeed. Okay. Who's, the, who's his friend that he was writing to? I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, if they're just kidnapping people and torturing them here, that's not great. This character has decided he is, uh, not to be the purveyor of justice. Or at least a small amount of justice. Not justice for, like, for, for theft, of course. Theft isn't a real crime. Torture, though. Torture, torture is a real crime to be punished. Alright, well, she's still not asleep where we left him. Because if so... Hmm... You know what? Ah, <laughs> he just kind of sunk into his bed. I think, you know, we should try and make sure he never gets found. You know? And I wonder if the best way to do that might not be to drop him down his own elevator shaft. You could drop him down the street, but you know, then the guards would maybe cause a ruckus. But what I might be able to do, I'm gonna try this, is uh, go down one floor. I'm quick. Oh, I actually could crash me down between these doors, perhaps. Uh, I can send the lift up and throw him down. Nope. Oh, that's not gonna work. Alright. Well, let's take him down to his dungeon. Where nobody will find him, except perhaps his friend. He will find him dead there and uh, wonder how the hell what happened and who the hell did it. Where's that button? Alright. Because of the way the lift works, I can't throw him down the shaft. Unfortunately. But I can, uh, Kill him in his own torture chamber. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Complete. You won't talk to anyone anymore. Well, and you, ma'am, your body at least deserves to be found. Where's the button? Getting yeah, stuck here. I'll tell you what, you can have his bed. I'll still blame him for your murder. At least to be found and he won't be. Like the punishment to fit the crime or something. Alright, slowly now. Again, this guard's within earshot, so I don't want to make too much noise. And there's hammers nearby too, making a lot of mess. Alright. I'll find your body there. No blame him, they won't find him. I'll think he murdered you and fled. Too bad for him, but that's not the case. Alright, that was a uh, diversion. Sure. Doors are still open. Alright. Let's save. Where is a dark spot? Alright. 
<clears throat> well, I don't want to go any further east or north, really, to get the hammers. Let's try. Let's try this way. We still need to find uh, this shop that we need to steal from. Is that it? No, that's not an actual door that opens. I don't know that those open either. Or is this it? Hello, sir. Sleep. Why don't you sleep? Uh, okay. This must be his shop. Let's get out. Well, that's him guarding it. Uh, it's rather... Rather well lit. <laughs> curious about this fellow who doesn't seem to be able to be knocked out. Uh, it's a nice panel to have, but not one I'm particularly fond of. But I can't really do much more about him, because... Hmm. Oh wait, is he... is he... Is he... I mean, he didn't seem to be watching his shop, right? Peering in the windows. Easily. Is there any other way other than straight in the front door? Because I don't really have any equipment suitable for going straight in the front door. Very disconcerting. Oh, there is a way in from the roof. I think there's a trap door there. Chimney, not a trapdoor. Ah, hmm, this is not good. I don't have any equipment. The only way in seems to be in the front door. I mean, there is another door there. Where does that seem to lead? I'm just going to try and zoom in, but I can't. Lead that side. Any way over there? Not really. Well, if I can get in that other door, I don't know how to get to that other door. It might just be a back room rather than an entrance. Alright, let's see what's in here. Very brightly lit. Nothing I can access. What's that? <coughs> Nothing. You can sleep. Alright, well I need to head back southwest. I need to well somewhere. I need to get some equipment. Actually any way to break in there without more equipment, which is maybe maybe if I meet to uh, switcher first, somewhere near the clock tower. The clock tower. This goes on that way, I see it. Nothing, nothing. That's the last time I jump for rats. Is that you, Kevil? Nope, it's not Kevil. Oh well, sorry. Guess it was nothing. I can't pick that lock. Huh? Is that you? Oh god. God's everywhere on the street. Nothing to be seen oh, well. now. <laughs> Too many imaginings. Oh, he's got a... He's got a healing potion. Is that you? Seems <laughs> No. Oh, there's a guard on oh, there. Well. <laughs> right. I've got healing! Some healing at least. Seven hit points. Oh, that's a lot better than three. 
Hello? Show yourself. Oh. Wow, he was uh, harder to knock out than I expected. So I like the way this design is put to uh, lights that switches on and off when they open the doors as if the light's filling out the doorway. That's that's neat. That's definitely custom work because the engine doesn't do that for you. I've lost track of where I'm actually going with all this. Why I'm here. Why am I here? Oh, it's stars out there. Starry sky. Aha! Six water arrows. Alright. Now I have water arrows. That's something. I don't think it's going to help me break into uh, that uh, fellow's shop because it didn't appear to have any. Hmm. What am I trying to say? It didn't appear to have any lights that were extinguishable with water arrows. Oh, this is a clock tower. Okay, well, uh, switch this house. It must be somewhere around here. I thought it said east of the clock tower, but the map kind of shows west. So if we go, keep going, go back west. <laughs> and maybe we'll find him. That's not his house, is it? No, well, that's probably not his house. Through there is a gate we can't unlock. So if that's his house, and I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, this is a step further west, probably. Everybody, why would you think anybody was going here? Oh, is this his house? If I can see through there. Could be. Could very well be that. Would be where that gate is then. Doesn't really help me. Get in that door. And then... Ugh, I'm lost. Oh, fountain. We're right here. Alright, we're right back near where I started. So they just go west from here or go back to my apartment. There's a guard up there. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a brief stop back at my apartment, I think. Just in case I have left a cache of rope arrows or anything useful there that I failed to see in my hurried uh, attempt to escape from this fine fella. <coughs> Nothing on the shelves. Oh! I got my magic lucky coins. That's that's worth having. Not sure why the magic. <laughs> Nothing on top of there. Don't I have a secret compartment with like all my stuff? I guess. Oh! Speaking of secret compartments, there's a switch. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, that must be the magic lucky coins, and I uh, accidentally throbbed them through the bookcase. Because uh, you can do that in Thief, in the Thief one. Or often in Thief 2. Alright, uh, oops. That explains why I didn't see them before picking them up. Alright. No more, uh, no other equipment. Is there? Well, I've got a bed roll on a bed that seems redundant, but okay. No rope arrows. I need rope arrows. I saw places I could use rope arrows. Switcher, I guess. Switcher's house. To the east somewhere. Alright, so if we keep going back, go back east. Again to the central district. Maybe we'll find his house. Sir, would you mind sleeping for me? Thank you. You don't really need it. No. 
That's open window there and a wooden beam, but without a rope I can't get to it. Oh, there's, there's mannequins in a shop window, not people. Tailor's shop, any kind of clothes, servant's dress, noble clothes, best sorts of silk from the city. Urgent orders accepted, open from 9am till 6pm. Alright, so it's closed now, I guess it's outside business hours. Right, well, let's, let's deal with this fine fellow before worrying about the tailor's shop. Love in peace. <coughs> Oops, wrong. Um, lock it. <coughs> Get in there, Garrett. Wow, oh, whole, whole outfits. That's, uh, that. Paper, one hard glass window, 812, 1200 gold. Three dummies, 750 gold. Door mechanism, 300 gold. Total, 2250 gold. That's a expensive bill for uh, what you were showing there. What have you got? There's the door mechanism. Any, any valuables on these dummies? Apparently, yes. Jewelry as well. Awesome, I'll take that. in your back room. Uh, apparently not. You have a back room. It's seal shut. Oh, let's just close the window again. Alright, uh, 1075 total. 825 gold, 200 gems. So we've got beaten our gem target. We have half our gold target and about a fifth of our goods target, okay? Oh, we're getting there for loot. Sicker than I expected, to be honest. So everything we find, we're not finding a lot, but what we're finding is high value, so... Definitely beats finding the occasional... Uh, you know, five pence here and there. But I'm not going to keep going down the street just yet, because that's taking us away from switches. I don't need rocks. Can't pay the rent with rocks. Oh, God. Where is this? Further west of the fountain. In River's End again. Well, we'll come back to River's End. As we keep losing the town. I need to find a switcher. It's got to be there, right? about what Switcher's house looks like. It's not going to be as fancy as that. Not for somebody who's taken to thievery to support himself. We are back at the clock tower. Hmm. Let's go up into the clock tower and have a look, shall we? Okay. Quiet, Garrett. Don't, don't wake everybody in the district. Especially not these guards. <clears throat> Little enough help already. You don't want to have more angry people with swords on your back. Which is of course why we put them all to sleep. <coughs> Alright, let's check out this clock tower. Warning! Pay attention while climbing the steps. The entire stair system is very old and unreliable. Please be careful. Okay. Greetings. Oh, stranger. Please, help me get back to my home. South of the clock tower. I feel so weak. My head. Oh. Uh, all right. 
get you back to your home self with a clock tower. Sure, how am I supposed to know you're home? Clock man. You clock man yourself, which way is south? Uh, this way. Which is your home? Is this your home? I mean, this is south of the clock tower, but uh, let's just scout it out. No, that's not a home, that's, uh, I've been there. Is this your home? Do you have a key on you? No. Maybe a little out of the line there. I'm south of here, yeah, okay, south of the clock tower. What other possible candidates are there? Let's go around the block if I can. Nope, we're just at the gate. Uh, let's go to the town gate. So... Well, if this is your home... No. Oh. Thank you, stranger. I can walk for now. Good. Please, enter and take whatever you want. Uh, sure, thanks. Um, I'm surprised you couldn't walk. Oh, bread and cheese. Thank you, thank you. I like bread and cheese. I'm surprised you couldn't walk. I'm so tired. <sighs> oh, Latin. Funny dog. Alright, you sleep there, mate. I need a portable source of light. Nowhere to go, south of the clock tower. Wow, oh, that's a very long range portable source of light too. Let's, let's put it somewhere less. With less impact. No, oh, that's not good. Wow, that's bright. Alright, let's leave it right by his front door. Look how bright that is. It's still lighting me up all the way over here. And still lights me up here. What the hell? Uh, that hasn't made me permanently visible, has it? I'm going to be very, ha very happy if it has. That's, uh, it's a nasty trick to play on me, so... You sure, keep your Latin. <sighs> hmm. Uh, yeah, that says I'm permanently visible. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. Ahem. I think I'm not going to watch the guards already, huh? That's going to make sneaking fun. I'll just try to save and load in case that helps, but let's get another dark corner far from the landing. <coughs> save, load. <coughs> nope, still bright. Still shiny bright. Alright, I think this is Switch's home, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, I'm really unhappy about being highly visible all the time. I. Mm -mm. I haven't been saving as I go, so starting over before, from before I picked up that lantern, I'd have to start over right at the start. And that doesn't seem like a good plan. Oh, these windows open, do they? Hmm. break in here without being seen, huh? How? Now possibly that chimney is a way in. There's no way it's going to work for me. I mean, am I actually visible or is it just broken?
Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear. Hey, I think I saw something there. Yeah, I'm visible. That's the last time I jumped for rats. So you should be pitch black. <laughs> On there, seeing something out of the corner of their eye. Not hyper visible. Did you see something? I'm a lot no. more. No, over there. See, a lot more visible than I should be. All quiet now. Must have been rats. Can't hear it anymore. Probably not. Was something just there? <coughs> hey, stop! Bollocks. Because that needs me to be in darkness. That was your last chance. All right, let's let's do this. No, come back here. Let's just go back to the shop there. Uh, which I think is this way. No, it was this way. Mm -hmm. No, this way. Got him lost. There we are. Right here. Come back here. Let's smash a window. Ah, Garrett! I suppose you're here to buy. Hey, wait! Thief! Guard! Alright, okay, so he's gonna talk to me. Let's not smash his windows just yet, then. Ah, Garrett! I suppose you're here to buy something, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Rope arrows. Can I not knock you out? He does have a back door, but I don't know how I get here. With some crates to pile up. Gee. Hmm. I'll go ahead and call the cards, I don't care. Hey, wait! Alright. Oh, I failed the mission. Whoops. Oh, he's so gonna do it when he's not looking. Alright, I can do that. Maybe. Hey, yeah. Uh, Garrett! I suppose you're here to buy something, hmm? Yep. <laughs> now, if you turn away, we'll just sit here. You turn away. Hey, wait! What? I'm gonna be completely not seen by him, and I can't knock him out. <laughs> what if I just kill him? I bet that's gonna fail as well. <gasps> no? Oh, yes. Do you know what the arm is? Of course. Uh, hmm. Warehouse letter. Cutty, recently one of our valuable suppliers, has delivered some cargo. I think you know what this cargo is. Inform us how much you want to purchase in two days. Use only trusted messengers, as this information is not supposed to get to town guards. Don't try to cheat us or steal anything. 
The cargo is well hidden in the warehouse. If anything happens to the cargo, the guilt will lie upon you, remember. <coughs> Extra objective. Cut easy to deal with weapon smugglers. I should examine the cargo, get some useful stuff and set up. Just to cut it, alright. Let's do that. Let's not steal stuff from the shop just yet, because it's only loot. Let's see where this back door takes us. It's a pile of crates. Nothing behind them, is there? No. This takes us north. Little square here. I don't think I've been in here before. Got a well. It's all the way down. Got a well. Anything in here? There's a ring at the bottom. Always worth jumping down wells. A new guard, that's nice. I think I go somewhere I've been before, right? Oh, we're in the North District, that's why I haven't been here before. No, oh, I have been here. Okay. Just didn't recognize it. Yeah, it's just a museum, and I came this way, right? Door. It's not a door. <clears throat> I've been in the canal again. Or the river, I suppose. It won't take me anywhere interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, it's got a very strong current. Can't get out here. over there, isn't there? Oh, I've been there. Uh, but that's where I gotta go. Okay, that's the only way it seems. Apart from more swimming. Hmm. Warehouse. What was the note about the warehouse? Did it say where the warehouse was? Deliver some cargo. Where would a warehouse be, huh? River's End? North District? Well, there's a pub here we haven't been to, the Drunken Goose. This might... This will be it. Oh, wait, have I been here? Oh, yes, I have been here, alright. So I've looted the Drunken Goose pub. I haven't found anything looking like a warehouse. Hmm. I haven't really been downtown yet. And there's really no... We need to read this letter once more. Supplies to the Yeah, there's absolutely nothing to say where the warehouse might be. River's not marked in. Alright, let's try and go to the downtown area south of the clock tower. Wait, there's a guard up here I haven't knocked out yet, right? That's going to be awkward.
Oh, that's those apartments. Where does this go? Just a warehouse. Footsteps all around. Can't really place them. Is that you? No, it's not me. Seems clear enough now. <coughs> uh, all right, we can get these guys from behind this way. That's gonna make the streets safer for uh, people like me who blow in the dark. If I, if I wasn't already using a knock everybody out tactic, uh, I have to now, given that I can't stealth effectively. Thanks to this bug that doesn't even disappear on save and reload. Oh, it's you again. Do you care if you see me? You don't seem to care if you see me. Wherever you are. Alright. what it was. Nobody knows. Is that you, Kevin? Ah, it works, okay. Oh, he was not looking my direction, so, uh, huh? thankfully. Who's there? I see him! Help! Over here! Sneak. Don't call the guards. Ow. Also, stay out of my way. Plates. Okay. What do I need plates? I don't know, but I can pick up a lot of plates. Nothing on the yard that matters there. Well, I probably shouldn't have broken the window. So I can come in the door, you know. Alright, that's the hammers. Kind of want to stay away from them for now because I don't see how I'm going to get past them effectively. Another guard out there as well. If only I could do something about this glowing in the dark business, uh, I'd be a lot happier. But let's see how much arrows and some money. All right, so now I've got six water arrows, four moss arrows. I still don't have any uh, rope arrows. But I guess I can find some somewhere. Who knows where? Looks like I might be able to have a rope arrow onto that balcony if I had a rope arrow. If only. Well, a thief can dream. I won't go out that way. Don't know how much to see me. I don't think there's any point putting out this fire and looking at the chimney. Is there? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely rope her onto that if I had a rope arrow. Where am I going? So, oh, I was trying to get downtown, so it's going kind of southish. I go through this way. Oh, that's just the other end of this. It's okay here. Shop, okay. So that silly thing where I can't let him see me after, at all after I've stolen from him is going to be 
uh, that's gonna be near impossible to do. I need an invisibility potion, Ellie. I don't exist in Thief 1. Uh, we need to go east, uh, west, and then to downtown. that way. I go west from here. I can't find a way forward pretty soon. Maybe I have to start looking for uh, hints and tips. But on the other hand, oh, ledge. I can get on the roof if I can get on that ledge. I can get on that ledge from the stairs maybe. That's going to new mantle the work, but uh, can I jump on that light? No, but <laughs> can't jump on the ledge. Okay. Yeah. Shop. Uh, wait. That guy's shop. Where was the Where was the shop? Where was the shop? Where was the shop? Yeah. No. There. Just the other side of the round building. Right, because behind his shop there were three crates. I can take the crates, you won't mind if we take the crates. We can uh, stack the crates up. Hello, Cutty. Little bastard. I'm going to take these crates. You don't mind me stealing crates, do you? Don't call the guards. Uh, let's look from here because I don't remember where I'm taking them yet. Get them out of the alleyway at any rate. <coughs> uh, with three crates I can definitely stack them up to make a little stair I can climb up, even if I'm terrible at stacking crates, which I am. Then I can climb up into that window, or onto the ledge, and onto the roof or something, and get over to where switches places. I need a gas arrow to get rid of him, I think. It's or gas mine. No, no, gas mines don't exist in Thief 1, do they? Oh, I don't recall. Either way, I don't think I can get past him without gassing him. Alright, uh, I will go find the, the... That's the ledge. I'll go put these in place shortly. But first, I'm going to end the episode here. And I'll see you next episode for some crate stacking and climbing. Uh, well, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Thanks for watching.